Hello, Design in Dava. Good morning, good morning. My name is Hans Ulrich Obrist. I'm co-director of the Serpentine Gallery and co-founder of 89 Plus. We're going to talk today about 89 Plus and the genesis of the project, um, which um, we will realize also in uh, um, early uh, 2014 in Cape Town. So the beginning of uh, um, actually, 89 Plus started in Yokohama about four years ago when Simon Caste and I met for the first time and we started a dialogue about how we could somehow map a new generation of artists. It was all about a mapping device, about the possibility of actually digitally mapping this project. The dialogue then intensified about a year ago when we sort of thought, uh, we somehow started to define the rule of the game of how this could happen. Um, and we thought it would be very important to actually, uh, and also urgent, to for the first time really look into this completely new generation who is emerging with the internet, because also the, the first sort of generation of digital natives. Um, and we thought, you know, it all has to do obviously with 1989, because the year 1989 is the year the Berlin Wall came down, it's the year of uh, Tiananmen Square, it's a, a year of, you know, many deep changes, but it's also the, the year where Tim Berners-Lee actually invented and set the conditions so I can say for the World Wide Web and um, it's the beginning so as to say of uh, this sort of whole digital age and the thing I mean one of the things we felt important is that uh, it sort of became all of a sudden apparent that this generation was now starting to become visible. And we started to think how we could actually develop a long-term kind of research platform uh, where we would do many different things so it wouldn't just be you know a one-off it would be something which would grow over many years. The reason why we call it 89 Plus is obviously the year 89, it's artists uh, and all kinds of other practitioners, also activists, um, um, scientists, uh, architects, designers, born in 89 and younger. But the plus also means that it's a project which will always, you know, continue to evolve and uh, we already look forward, you know, to have in our project in a couple of years, you know, the first artists or practitioners uh, born in 2000s. That's why we think, you know, it's a project which we're going to do at least for 10 years. Um, and if I say that, you know, it's also accompanying the artists, it also means that it's not just about events, it's also about residencies. We're working on several residencies, uh, we're working on uh, uh, basically grants for artists. So this idea also of a long durational project leading to a long durational support seems to us very important. It's all, of course, also to do with the database. We've got already more than a thousand artists, you know, on the database from which we try to, uh, you know, permanently uh, see work and, 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 and add new work. The, the biggest project so far in the 89 plus, um, um, in the 89 plus adventure, we read the Serpentine uh, Marathon, the 89 plus Marathon. The Marathon started in 2006. It's a project which uh, Julia Peyton Johns and I began when I joined the Serpentine as co-director. Julia Peyton Johns, the director, had uh, already in 2000 invented the uh, pavilions and you know out of that grew the idea that we would do the, the marathons uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a conjunction with that. And uh, this year uh, it will be in the new Serpentine Cycle Gallery, uh, the 89 plus marathon uh, with uh, more than 35 participants from all over the world. And it's obviously not only participants, you know, born in 89 or younger, but it's participants from all generations who are going to talk about this generation. So we'll have Douglas Copeland, who from the very beginning has been involved, the author of Generation X, who uh, calls it the Diamond Generation, uh, but we will have also many other, you know, architects, scientists, uh, artists, um, you know, presenting the 89 plus generation. We have the website www.89plus.com and on, you know, on the website we have the, the archive of all the projects so far. It's possible for, 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 for artists to upload information on their work, you know, on, on, on the 89 Plus website and for us to see. Uh, and so it enters the, the research. So each time, you know, we will also have different themes. So the content will vary uh, each time uh, very strongly. It's about going beyond the fear of pooling knowledge. And I think that's something which is definitely very, very strongly, you know, present in the project. We, we don't want there to be segregations or, or separations in the sense of that uh, practitioners from all disciplines, you know, are invited to submit. And it's extremely interesting. We believe that through the 89 plus, you know, event, we also create this, these encounters uh, across the disciplines. So, so that's, that's definitely, you know, an important part of the project. We then uh, we uh, continue this research over the next couple of months and together with Design and Baba make more research in Africa. We believe it's extremely important uh, to take into account um, this incredible you know, 
uh, energy and this incredible polyphony of art centers there is in, in, in Africa and that's something which plays a very big role for 89 plus. Delegates at the conference you know can uh, expect to encounter for the first time a completely you know new generations of artists they haven't you know encountered before uh, you know artists from Africa but artists also from all over the world uh, see their work and also um, see you know uh, many different conversations about um, how um, these uh, you know practices uh, position themselves in the 21st century so it's something you know I think it was uh, uh, the Aguilar from Cocteau, who once had this famous exchange, and they said, you know, Etonnez-moi, surprised me, and we hope that there are going to be many, many surprises.